Hello, hello, what up, John? You moving, man? And I'm back. And today's going to be quite exciting. Got a bit of a a double a double review for you today. Because today we're going to talk about Bad Boys 2 in 4K, and we're also going to talk about Bad Boys 4, aka Bad Boys Ride or Die, which just came out in the cinema a couple of weeks ago. So double review for you today. So to start with this one, uh, this is the only Bad Boys film I currently own in 4K. Uh, I didn't buy the first one because for me I didn't really enjoy it. I mean loads of people love the first one and the second one and then nobody likes the third one. Um, but I preferred the second one over the first one so much. Um, I didn't think the first one was all that. It was alright but it wasn't that special for me. This has got a nice slip cover there. It's got a nice back cover. The back is the same on both. And let's have a look at the inside, eh? So you've got your normal standard inside here. Got a 4K disc here and a Blu-ray over here. So it comes with a Blu-ray. That's nice, isn't it? There is no Dolby Vision on the disc, uh, but there is Dolby Atmos, which to be fair goes down really well with a film like this. I think Dolby Atmos did it did it good justice. Yeah, uh, picture-wise, I wouldn't have said it was the most incredible 4K picture I've ever seen. But on the other hand, it is definitely better than the Blu-ray. So if you're thinking upgrade, yes, it's definitely an upgrade for you there. It's definitely better than the Blu-ray. It's definitely worth getting if you're a Blu-ray. No, you're not. It's definitely worth getting if you're a 4K Blu-ray collector. And you've already got it on Blu-ray and you want to see if, if it's any good in 4k it is it's a good step up from that blu-ray but i wouldn't have gone as far as to say it was a really good looking 4k it's not like it's the one that i would run to to show off my 4k collection to people show off the 4k tv but yeah i mean if i was deciding whether to watch the blu-ray or the 4k disc then i definitely would watch 4k disc because it does it does look better than the 4k disc so it's a win half win kind of thing uh bad boys 2 is probably probably one of my favorites out of the four uh before the fourth one came out bad boys ride or die which we're going to talk about now so it's very rare that i talk about films that are out in the cinema um but i've decided i'm going to talk a little bit about bad boys 4 slash bad boys ride or die depending on how you look at titles or well, bad boys ride or die is the actual title so maybe that's how you should look at it i really liked it i'm not gonna lie i thought it was absolutely brilliant considering how bad the third one was and how much a lot of people didn't really like the third one i kind of went into the fourth one thinking this probably isn't going to be very good the third one and the fourth one are the only two that aren't directed by michael bay um not that really matters uh I'm not really the biggest Michael Bay fan. I say that, I like quite a lot of his films actually, so maybe I am a Michael Bay fan. Who knows? But Ride or Die was brilliant. It was really funny. It had a really good story, really good connection with the characters. I'm not going to go too much into what happens in the film or why it was good or why it was funny, because go and see it. Yeah, go and see it at the cinema, because it's definitely, it's definitely worth going out for the evening or the afternoon, depending on when you like to go to the cinema but yeah it's definitely up there i don't know if i go as far as say it was the best out of the four but if it's not number one it's definitely number two i watched number two again when i came home just to remind myself how much i liked it and just to see if i thought the second one was better than the fourth one and i just i just don't know i think maybe when bad boys four is out in 4k i will get that and I'll probably watch that and then I'll probably decide again watch them both together even though that's technically what I did the day that I saw the fourth one at the cinema but I watched a lot of films at the cinema that day and it stuck out the most out of the other three films that I saw as well so yeah I think that's it for today I'm gonna start talking about bad boys now yeah sorry I wasn't around on Monday I was busy watching Lord of the Rings in the cinema it kind of 
took up a lot of time, so I didn't quite have, I didn't quite fuck, so I didn't quite have enough time to do a video, but I'm here now, so don't panic, I've not gone anywhere, I just was busy Monday, sorry, but I'm going to go now, so if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'm going to fuck off, okay, goodbye.